Let's cross over to Dubai where governments across the world have been challenged to embrace digital technology as a means of prosperity and accountability. This was the call by President William Ruto at the start of the World Government Summit 2024 in Dubai. Ruto also cautioned world leaders against yielding to the fear of the unknown to deny the youth possibilities that are availed by technology. Shaping future governments, the meeting in Dubai seeks to involve governments, international organizations, thought leaders and the private sector in the identification of innovative solutions to future challenges. President William Ruto, while addressing the meeting, warned that the fear of the unknown risks robbing the youth of the opportunities available in the digital space. Innovations elicit resistance and attempts to suppress or adapt it to the status quo. The fear of the unknown can be a real and huge drawback to progress and governments. However, if they are to remain relevant, agile and responsive, must of us of necessity move, facilitate, encourage, and champion change. While enumerating gains made by Kenya through innovation and technology, the head of state, however, called on world governments to remain vigilant of harmful effects of technology on the society, including the rollout of technology not backed by science. From my experience with innovation in Kenya, I would say that it is wise to be vigilant against adverse implications, antisocial applications, and other threats that can arise due to unregulated or reckless experimentation with unsafe, scientifically untenable, or theoretically unsound technologies. Yet, and I repeat, yet, this must never be a ground to stand in the way of solutions to humanity's pressing needs. While making a case on why the world needs to embrace technology as a solution to future challenges, input distribution, among other transformational uses of the digital space. Many types of businesses quickly saw the benefit of cashless transaction and persuaded banks to enable them conduct their banking over the phone. After rigorous debate, Kenya opted to face the future with courage and M-Pesa became the legendary driver of trade and commerce that it has become, transacting $1.2 billion every day. Dubai's ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Rwanda's President Paul Kagame, were among other heads of state and government in the meeting. John Jacob Curia, Prime Edition.